Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan and today we have week eight of the top five mods of the week. Now, hopefully you guys will enjoy the mods that I've picked out for this week because I think that it was a pretty good week with mods. Now, the first mod that we have here is called scoped bows. Now, obviously all this one does is it adds scopes onto most of the bows in the game and I find it to be a really creative mod and I find it to be, you know, pretty useful for aiming and getting long distance shots. So it's a pretty cool mod in general and just a quick mod just to start off because I thought it was really cool and I strongly recommend downloading this first mod. Coming in at our number 4 spot, we have Aladon's Ultimate Armory. Now to get to here, all you have to do is travel to Riverwood and then look to your left and you'll see a giant portal as you can see right here. A giant portal and then you go through the portal and you get to the armory. Now the frame rate the second you enter the armory isn't really that good, like the frames drop really bad. But if you wait around for like maybe a minute or two everything loads in and you're fine and it has no more frame rate issues so if you download this mod and you enter the armory and you're losing frames don't worry it'll wear off in like a minute and everything will load in and you'll be able to walk around and everything will be fine now in this armory there are quest items that you can buy off people to do shortcuts for quests that you'd want to complete really fast and uh, you can buy the quest items and you can buy you know items such as the priest masks and stuff like that so i found it to be extremely useful if you just want to skip ahead you know if you already completed up to a certain part and lost a save or you want to skip to a certain part of a certain quest or you just want to skip a quest entirely this is the mod for you because you can go into the armory and you can just get the quest item and then you can complete the quest there now also what this mod has is it has an inn that has a bunch of followers in it including the ebony warrior which isn't even a follower i believe i don't think you can have the ebony warrior as a follower and there's also Dramora Lords and stuff like that that you can have followers. There's Ghost Followers and stuff like that. And it's just a bunch of random followers in the game that look really cool. I think there's a Dragon Priest. Yeah, there's one right here. And then there's, yeah, like the Ghost one right there. And another thing that this mod has is the Shortcut Room. Now, I found this to be very creative. It has a door that leads to every, like, you know, quest-driven place like High Hrothgar. And then there's every major city that you can travel to. There's just, it's a room full of doors and you can travel to the areas. Like I said, High Hrothgar, and I believe there's the Bleak Falls Barrow quest skip as well, and you can also do that. And then whenever you go through the door, as you can see, I went through the one in White Run. I am just back here at White Run, and I'm right there in the middle of the city. So it's a pretty cool mod in general, and I strongly recommend downloading it. Coming in at our number three spot, we have Inigo. Now, Inigo is a follower mod that adds a new follower to the game. Now, to get this follower, all you have to do is you have to go to the Riften Jail and then open the cell door. I believe it's an Adept Lock, and then you can go and talk to him. Now, stuff that's included in this mod is 7,000 unique lines of dialogue. He has many other options that a normal follower wouldn't have, like any thoughts. If you've ever played Fallout 4, you can ask your follower your thoughts. So it has that option in this game. You can ask him your thoughts. You can change his battle tactics as if he wants to use a blade or a bow. You can choose which one you want him to use. You can choose his aggression. So if you're stealthy and you're crouching, he'll be crouching and he won't attack people just because you got seen. And you can even tell him not to attack anyone if you don't want them to and you can do everything yourself and have them follow you and uh, you can also obviously have him carry your stuff for you and you can put on whatever you want you can give him your clothes and you can give him any type of armor that you want him to wear and I found him to be a really useful follower and he doesn't even fill up a follower slot you can actually have another follower I remember I had him and Fandle at the same time so you have two people at your side at once and uh, I find it to be a really good team you having another follower and then him or just him you know he's a really good fighter and I find it to be really useful when I'm fighting dragons and uh, clearing dungeons and stuff like that so i find this mod to be very useful and awesome to use so i strongly recommend downloading it coming in at our number two spot we have something that i've never seen before it's called placeable statics now i never knew that this would be possible but actually what you can do is you have a power called select furniture and you use it on an object in your house you can actually pick it up and place it in your inventory and then you can move stuff around and rotate everything and you can customize your house to your liking. I'm just going to give you a little tutorial here. Now all you have to do is walk up and use your power on a piece of furniture that you want to move and then you press the pick up button and you can do it to anything as you can see I did it to the table and I can do it to a chair and then you go under your books. I don't know why it appears under your books but it just does and then you go to the item that you picked up and you can drop it and it'll be like any other item that you can move around in the game. You just hold the pick up button and you can just move it around to your liking. Now I'm going to move this 
table right around here and uh, I'm gonna keep it there now I'm also gonna drop a chair and just make a nice little dinner table for myself and like I said you drop the item and then if you use the power on it again you can rotate it as you can see I'm gonna be doing that now you can rotate it a certain degree there's an XYZ axis and it's really easy to use and then once you're done and everything is to your liking you use the power on the chair or the table again and you could press fix object and the item will disappear for a sec and then it'll reappear and you won't be able to pick it up it'll be fixed and you can move it again if you use a power on it again but until you do that it'll be an ordinary object now as you can see here I made a little table and I put some bread and a flagon on it and now I can sit down and enjoy some dinner so it's a really cool mod and I strongly recommend downloading it Coming in at our number one spot, we have Fendrix Magic World DLC. Now in this mod, it adds a whole new realm to Skyrim that you can explore. Like it's not even in Skyrim, it's its own little world. And it comes with five boss battles. There's an Atronach, there is a Dragon Priest, there's a Giant Giant, there's a werewolf and then there is a giant slaughter fish or just a fish that you have to fight. Now these bosses are really difficult and they drop amazing loot so I strongly recommend getting the mod. And it also comes with an entire new beautiful designed world to explore and you can explore it to your liking. There's a lot of new areas to explore so I strongly recommend getting the mod and if I tried to do the entire mod in one video it would take me forever because this mod is just huge and I just I can't cover it all in one video because the video would be way too long. But I strongly recommend getting this Fendrix Magic World DLC mod. So that is pretty much it for our top five list this week. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, I would appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe if you knew. It helps me out a lot. And today is the last day to submit a comment question. So if you have a question for the Q&A, leave it down below in this video. And uh, today and like maybe tomorrow is the last time to do it because I'm going to finalize everything and I'm going to put everything in. And I'll have the video out by before the end of the year. So, uh, yeah, make sure you do that if you have a question. And that's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I will talk to you guys later. Check this out. Whoops.